Hi, today we're going to talk about spirituality is peace and stability. Spirituality is the process of living in peace within ourselves, family, society, and the world. It leads us to introspection, to learn more about ourselves which change our life's paradigm. Introspection introspective individuals from around the world and in history inspire us and challenge us to start our own spiritual journey, where we transform because the Spirit alters our consciousness on how we perceive ourselves, others, life, thought processes, action, and philosophy. In life, there is death, sickness, and pain, but spirituality gives us a way out beyond the cycle of desire and suffering, so we are more stable. It is the science of our soul, spirit, or Atman that leads us to our consciousness or awareness beyond our body, mind, and ego. When this happens, we go beyond the mind drama and the desires that cause us to suffer. In consciousness, we are safe secure and surrounded with peace. It only takes five minutes to change inside and our perspective outside because we are liberated from the mind. Thich Nhat Hanh said, we humans have lost the wisdom of genuinely resting and relaxing. We worry too much. We don't allow our bodies to heal and we don't allow our minds and hearts to heal. The Bible says in Galatians 5.22-23, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, fear, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Our spirit does not care what our job is, and it does not worry about dying because it knows it is eternal. It only cares about being present in the moment and mindful of what we are doing. The Spirit has no limits, so it is where we go for inspiration, the source of our strength that we can share with others, and transform our hardships into understanding and wisdom. We do this by removing the negative energy we have gathered and let go of the negative thoughts and attitude we have acquired on our journey stored in our energy field. In spirituality, we see our words as prayers because everything we say or think presents and expresses what we want to happen and it magically manifests in our reality. That is why we become mindful of our words and thoughts because they boomerang back to us, affecting our minds and body. When we surround ourselves With positive energy, we ignite our spirit and all our experiences we went through to get to this point in life, which makes sense as we become aware and conscious. Thich Nhat Hanh said, Every breath we take, every step we make, can be filled with peace, joy, and serenity. Emerson said, Nobody can bring you peace but yourself. Rabbi Heschel said, And above all, remember that the meaning of life is to build a life as if it were a work of art. When we realize everything is inside, our perspective changes so we are not afraid and are more accepting and kind. We find ourselves at peace so we can let go and enjoy life just being present. At peace, we are protected from everything, so are not afraid or sad in this altered state of mind. Our thoughts from the subconscious can't feed us or our feelings because we are beyond the mind. Those impacted by the subconscious mind gum up their personality with conformity and authority, so imagination can't create. They usually complain and lack gratitude, so shut off 
the opportunities and protection from spirituality. Therefore, attracting the negatives that irritate the mind. We are more spiritual than we think, so we need to free ourselves from our limiting thoughts. It is better to live life from our spirit than living to please others. We just have to be real, trust our spirit and our spiritual path that makes us grateful for the present moment. Confucius said, A seed grows with no sound, but a tree falls with huge noise. Destruction has noise, but creation is quiet. This is the power of silence. Grow silently. Grow strong. John Lennon said, Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. There are many great things coming from spirit to redirect to, but first we have to trust it and our path because it is about flow. Something foreign to our mind. The mind makes things happen with routine, struggle, and schedules to produce and force to, uh, to an outcome. Spirituality is being one with the Spirit, a path with the least resistance, where we do less but get more done. This path is flowing from our oneness with Spirit, not from the need to accomplish or acquire. We lose the joy of living and it is draining to go against our nature. But we still do things, just, just think about them in a positive way loving way. This is the path of least resistance, and it feels great being in the flow of love and joy from spirit to action. Joseph Campbell said, all, all the time it is miraculous, namely that if you do follow your bliss, you put yourself on a kind of track that has been there all the while, waiting for you and the life that you ought to be living is the one you are living. When you can see that, you, you begin to meet people who are in your field of bliss, and they open doors to you. I, I say, follow your bliss, and don't be afraid, and doors will open where you, where you didn't know there were going to be. Thank you.